So let's look at this example problem. We have um, our voltage source, 10 volts. We're gonna have a three, a two ohm um, resistors, and then a two farad capacitor. We're essentially gonna solve for the um, voltage, current, and charge immediately, and then after a long time. So let's do it immediately first. So this would be at our T equals zero plus. So right after we close our switch here. All right, so as said before, when you immediately close a, a switch, essentially the capacitor, so the key idea is the capacitor is gonna act like a short. All right, so let's go ahead and redraw this circuit. So essentially, it's just gonna look like this. So you're gonna have your 10 volt, you're gonna have your three ohm, two ohm, and then this is gonna be a short circuit right here. And in fact, because this is a short circuit, all the current is, is gonna bypass that two ohm resistor. And so immediately when you close this switch, um, no current's gonna go through this two ohm resistor. In fact, this circuit effectively looks like this. 10 volts, three ohms. That's what our circuit's gonna look like here. And so if we can, we can solve this circuit pretty easily, right? So we're gonna have, um, first of all, as we just said, the two ohm is gonna have zero current going through it. So R2 would be our two ohms. So we're gonna have zero current through here. Remember these are um, charges don't come across um, resistors. Okay, so in this circuit then, well, this is just gonna be 10 volts over three ohms is gonna give us about three and a third, right? 3.3 .3 amps. So the current through this is gonna be 3.3 .3 amps. Okay, now notice there's 3.3 .3 amps going this way. There's also gonna be 3.3 .3 amps going through that uh, capacitor, or at least through the branch of the capacitor. So we'll write that as 3.3 .3 amps through here. Uh, the voltage across, well, the voltage across the three ohm okay, is simply gonna be 10 volts, right? The voltage across R2, well, it's gonna be zero. There's no current even going through R2. So this voltage is gonna be zero. And then the capacitor, same thing. All the currents going through here, there's not gonna be a voltage drop across the capacitor at all. So this is gonna be zero volts as well. And so we'd have zero Coulombs across this. Okay, so that's going to be the immediately after. Let's go ahead and take a look at the long time situation. Let's use a fresh piece of paper for this. So this is going to be after a long period of time. So remember, after a long period of time, our capacitor in this case acts like an open circuit. Okay, like an open circuit. So in other words, let's redraw this. So we're gonna go like this. This is gonna be three, this is gonna be two. And I would encourage you to kind of redraw these circuits, especially when we start doing the more complicated ones. This is gonna look like an open circuit here. And this is gonna be 10 volts. So notice effectively, this is just a nice series circuit of a three ohm and a two ohm resistor. And so you would just go ahead and solve this circuit as you normally do. So if you remember, we're just gonna draw the equivalent for this in series. This is just gonna be five ohms, right? Which tells us 10 volts over five ohms is gonna give us two amps. So there's two amps of current going through here, right? So if we redraw this on here, it means we have two amps of current moving through this resistor, two amps of current moving through here. So let's go ahead and draw that in. So R2, this can be two amps, this can be two amps. Again, since this is an open circuit, this means there would be zero amps going through the capacitor here. Okay, let's go ahead and find the voltage. Well, the voltage that this is two amps, three ohms, right? This is gonna be voltage of V equals IR, which is gonna be two times three. So it's gonna be six volts across this. Same thing over here, we're gonna go V equals IR, two ohms times two amps equals two volts across here. 
right? And you can do the check. Six plus two should add up to our total that we started with. So let's go ahead and draw that in. This was, um, oops, two times two is not two. Two times two is four. This is gonna be four volts. This is gonna be six volts. Okay, so for the capacitor here, I do want you to notice this is four volts. So let me go ahead and draw this over here. So this is four volts, but notice these two are in parallel with each other. So if this is four volts across here, this must also be four volts, right? So the voltage drop here to here is four volts, therefore the voltage drop is also four volts. So this will take on the same voltage drop as the resistor that it's in parallel with. Okay, the final thing we do we need to do is find the charge across this um, or stored on the plates. So again, we're just gonna use um, Q equals C times V. So that was two farads times four volts gives us eight coulombs of charge. So I wanna add one more question to this problem. And that's this. What happens if we now all of a sudden open the switch? What happens if the switch is open now? Okay, so in other words, our switch has been closed. Now we're gonna open this back up. Well, notice what happens. Let's go ahead and clean this up. So this is boom three, where you just now open this up. So we've stopped this uh, charge source here, right? We stop this uh, voltage source from providing a, a source to the circuit. So there's going to be zero current through here, right? Once we open this up. However, check this out. Here's our um, capacitor over here. And we just said, this was two ohms, we've fully charged this up, right? So this is plus, 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 minus, 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 right? And in fact, we found that this was four volts across there. So since we now open this up, initially there was this state of equilibrium where the, the minuses here were pushing against the minuses here, but we've now reached this state where we remove this from the circuit. And so now notice we just have this nice little uh, circuit here where we have a four volt source into a two ohm resistance. And so in fact, we are going to get a flow of current. In this case, it would go in the opposite way that it just flowed earlier. Um, and it would flow this way through here. How much current would it be? Well, four volts, four volts over two ohms equals two amps. So this would be immediately, again, this would be immediately open, immediately open the circuit you're gonna get two amps flowing this way. Now over time, this is gonna, you know, all these negative charges are gonna flow back to the positive, and so it'll reach a neutral state. This is called a discharge that's happening. Okay, before we were charging up this capacitor, in this case, we're gonna be discharging the capacitor, and it's gonna move through this two ohm resistor here. Two amps initially, and it's gonna, you know, decrease to zero.